Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, man, I'm telling you, it's been a minute. And so where have I been and what have I been doing? So I wanna share a couple of things with you and then we're gonna kinda of go through what's in store for 2024, kind of a recap. We've already done what's kinda of coming in 2024, but I think I owe you um, kind of an updated version of that, of, of what I've really got planned. So, so what happened? Well, nothing happened. Uh, we're happy, we're healthy, everything in our, our, our household is running very smoothly. We're blessed beyond belief. Nothing uh, with our health or any of those things have changed. So uh, what did change? Well, have you ever had a hobby or a job or just uh, activities that you just felt overwhelmed? You felt like you were starting to burn out. That's what happened to me. And so I, I really, we worked hard on the Halloween setup. Uh, and I think 99.9% .9 of the things that we said we were going to build and display for Halloween, we got done. We got some of them done just in the nick of time, but irrespective of all that, we we got them done. And so we, we built a brand new trick-or-treat lane that was built from scratch. It had four modular sections. It turned out, I think, spectacular. I think you guys liked it as well. We built a new Raven Hill Cemetery that displays every single crypt that they've built. And it could display the 2015. I just don't like the Egyptian crypt. You guys have heard me say that. So it was minus that one. But a whole new Raven Hill Cemetery that I think turned out just spectacular. We built the Witch Hollow. You saw that set up. That took a lot. That was the whole Witch Hollow collection, mind you. Every single piece was displayed in that display. And so that took a lot of time and a lot of effort to set up. And then we redid the Manor Row. We redid, well, we, we displayed the Manor Row. We redid the Haunted Mansion. Uh, it, to encompass all the new pieces that they did for that. And so just a lot of stuff. And I just became completely uh, tired and did not want to touch uh, any kind of foam, any kind of hot wire tools, or any kind of glue guns for just a period of time. So I took a break. I wanted to get back into it for the Christmas season, and I thought that I was going to do that, but I just wasn't ready to move on with that. As a matter of fact, uh, some of the folks were asking, hey, are you going to do a home tour for Christmas? And I, I really had planned on doing one, but you, you, it'll be interesting to you to know that I we didn't even set up our uh, Christmas village this year. We did decorate the house. It was beautiful, but we did not put a Christmas village out where the Christmas village typically goes because we typically take down Halloween and clean and then go right back into Christmas the next day and start setting all that up. So it's, it's really a transition out of one into the other with no, with no break in between. And after taking down all of the Halloween and boxing it up and putting it away and just cleaning everything up, the last thing I wanted to do was break out a Christmas village and start doing the same thing with the anticipation that I've got to tear it all down when Christmas is over. So I just, it was, uh, I wasn't the kind of the Scrooge uh, or the Grinch this year for Christmas. We had a wonderful holiday season. We had a wonderful Christmas, but I just didn't, I was burnt out on villaging. I know that sounds tough, but I'm sure you've been there. I'm sure you've had hobbies or experiences or things that you've enjoyed. And you just, you, you got to a point where you're like, I just don't want to do that anymore. I need a break. So the good news is, I took a break. Uh, the better news is I feel more refreshed. I feel more relaxed. I feel better about getting started back into building and crafting. And I'm very much looking forward to 2024 and everything it has in store for us as villagers and creators. And I think you'll be pleased too to hear some of the things that we're going to be looking at this year to be building. So what are those? Well, the first thing we're going to start out with is going to be a highly detailed vignette featuring one of my favorite all-time houses, and that's Grimsley Manor, along with the garage. And uh, we're going to walk through this a little bit differently. We're going to walk through this one completely step 
by step. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna show you how I select the foam. I'm gonna show you how I cut the foam. I'm going to show you the thought process that goes into designing it. Every step along the way, we're gonna video and we're gonna produce that for you so you can have it. Uh, and then refer to that anytime you have a villaging question. Like I had so many questions of, uh, hey, how did you build the sidewalks? Well, there is a sidewalk video that I did specifically to demonstrate that. Uh, but, you know, some folks don't want to go back or didn't know that that existed, and so they continuously ask. So what I've decided to do is just do one highly detailed vignette that is uh, a beautiful museum piece, ideally, that you can display anywhere in your home. But as we go through it, we will teach every piece of villaging. When we put the lights on it, we'll, we'll then look at soldering and splicing and so you can watch this whole series. It will obviously be a multi-part series, but you can go back and watch this entire series and see everything involved in creating a village. So I think that'll be helpful to you. And I think I'm absolutely, absolutely looking forward to creating that. It's two of my favorite pieces, the house and the garage. So in addition to that, there's a couple more vignettes that I want to focus on this year to, to, to just do more highly detailed artwork, I think, is, is what I'm going to kind of refer it to. It's, not, it's, it's more than just cutting foam. We're going to put passion into this. We're going to put, um, you know, our, the experience that I've gained over the past three or four years of doing this, and, and, and hopefully my techniques have improved so that we get a better product when it's all said and done. And you're going to get to see every one of those as we produce those. In addition to that, I'm going to jump out of Department 56 uh, occasionally as we near the Halloween season. You guys know that one of my favorite, well, it is my favorite of the Halloween scary movie genres is uh, Stephen King's It. I uh, love those two uh, newer episodes, love the old uh, movie as well, and started collecting some of the NECA figures. They're almost like action figure size, you know, Pennywise. And uh, a lot of that stuff. And so we're going to build a couple of dioramas, very detailed, very uh, scary. Uh, I, I'm envisioning one of a sewer scene that's going to be, uh, and when I say sewer scene, we're going to be down in the sewer. Uh, and, and to kind of decorate that full with LED lights and resin and, and the whole nine yards. So you're going to get to see a couple of those builds as we continue through the 2024 season. And then we're going to jump back into uh, some of the Department 56. You've got the uh, new releases to look forward to. If you haven't seen the new releases, go back and watch the 2024 video uh, for Department 56 releases, the new stuff that they came out with. I just went to uh, my favorite platinum retail Hallmark score, uh, store today and uh, essentially... Um, they're getting ready to place their orders to have all this stuff start coming in. It probably won't be until, you know, who knows, March, April, May sometime of when we actually start seeing this stuff. But when that stuff comes in, I'll do detailed reviews on every piece that I buy. And so you'll have that to see as well. In addition to that, um, I don't know that I'm going to put... Uh, the Witch Hollow back up behind us this year. That was a, it's beautiful. I loved it. It's, it, that was every piece of that collection. Uh, and I will continue to get the collection this year. I'll get both the, the house and the accessory. Um, but I, I'm really focusing this year on a couple of the fall pieces. There's um, a couple of really cool pieces coming out. I've got several cool fall pieces already in my collection. And so what I think I want to do is do a very detailed fall scene back there that will, uh, you know, it, it will just demonstrate all the fall right back there. Potentially, that's at least the thought as we go into this, you know, season and start laying everything out. So uh, there will be a fall display, highly detailed, highly uh, accurate in terms of you can believe yourself to be walking into this little you know, pumpkin patch or the apple barn or whatever, and, and you will be able to kind of see yourself. And hopefully it'll bring back a lot of uh, you know, nostalgia and those feelings that you get from being younger, uh, kind of walking through that in the, in the fall. And so that's going to be a big one to look forward to. And then Manor Row, uh, 
it needs to be redone. Uh, it looks great when you set it up, but when you start taking it down, I can really see the deterioration of the foam. I can see the, the sloppy craftsmanship of when I first started to build this. It's one of the older displays that I have. And so we just had bulk pickup come to our house uh, that do that once a month with trash day. And I set some of the bigger pieces of Manaro out just to force me to uh, have to rebuild that. And so those are gone. And so if we're gonna display Manaro, which we, we are, those are my favorite homes, then we've gotta do a much better rendition, a much more updated rendition of Manor Row. So that's gonna be coming again. That's gonna be a big project, but it's gonna look hopefully amazing when it's done. And then of course the Haunted Mansion for Disney World is coming out. And so I'm gonna pick one of those up and we'll likely, uh, I'll have to do some research. We're, we're much closer in Arizona to California and Disneyland, but I'll do some research on what the queue looks like. We've been there a couple of times in Disney World but it's so difficult for me to remember exactly what it looks like. But rest assured, we'll do some research. We'll, we'll get it to where it's believable and we'll probably more than likely do a Haunted Mansion for Disney World vignette that we could proudly display anywhere in our home, potentially uh, replace the Disneyland version and then rotate those out every other year if we wanna do something like that. Uh, so those are kind of what we've got planned. There'll be more as more things develop and more things come out, but that's, that's kind of the plan for going into 2024. We're going to start really soon uh, on building the first vignette, which is going to be the um, uh, Grimsley Manor and the garage. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding of, of the break and why I needed that break and how the, the time away and the rest has kind of helped me to rejuvenate and become now excited again about taking on the responsibility of, you know, getting our house ready and getting the displays ready for 2024. And I want you guys to be able to see every bit of that so you can build your villages right along as I'm building these and, and learn as much as you possibly can about this wonderful and terrific hobby. So with that, we're gonna wrap this video up. I hope you've enjoyed. Like always, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It absolutely helps me out, it helps the channel to grow. And if you know folks that are like-minded, just like you and I, then share this video with them. Allow them the opportunity to come and learn as well and see what we're gonna create for the past several years, plus what we're getting ready to jump into for 2024. So until next time, take care of yourselves, and we'll talk again real soon.